Hello guys, my name is Jackson Kinyanjui, the founder of Climate Change Kenya organization, and I want us to look at the GIS flood simulation of Lake Trukana, indicated by the dark blue color, and Lake Logipi, indicated by the light blue color. Lake Trukana, formerly known as Lake Rudolph, is the world's largest permanent desert lake, and the world's fourth largest by volume. It used to stand at 361 meters above sea level, but currently it stands at 366 meters above sea level, with a maximum depth of 1 or 9 meters. Its surface area has also increased from its initial 6,405 km squared to more than 6,500 km squared. This has been attributed to three factors, namely climate change. Putting in mind that the years the lake had attained such high water levels were in 1999, 2007, 2015, and 2020. This coincides with the El Nino years experienced in the country in 1997, 1998, 2006, 2007, 2015, 2016, and the high short rainfall season of 2019. The second factor is due to land use changes, and the constructed Gibe Dam in Ethiopia that now controls the inflows from River Omo. The third factor is tectonic and geologic activities. The movement of the Somali plate to the east and the Nubian plate to the west has led to the disturbance of the underground aquifers and this has led to underground water being released and causing all the Rift Valley lakes to swell up. The plates have been projected to be moving apart at the rate of 2.5 cm per year. Lake Trukana has three tributaries, namely River Omo, River Takwell and River Kerio. River Omo alone supplies 90% of the water flowing into Lake Trukana. The lake is a closed lake with no physical outlet and water balance is maintained by evaporation and underground seepage. Using extreme simulation scenarios, I was able to project its water flooding levels up to 790 meters above sea level as the worst case scenario. On the other side lies Lake Logipi, which is also an alkaline lake and is separated from Lake Trukana by the barrier volcanic complex. It has a maximum depth of 3 to 5 meters with a surface area of approximately 500 km squared and it lies at 300 meters above sea level. But currently, due to the flooding, it stands at more than 3 or 5 meters above sea level. Using the worst case scenario, the possibility of the two lakes mixing is slim to none due to the existing barrier volcanic complex separating the two lakes. The other possibility of the two lakes mixing is through the underground pathways. This will have negative impacts putting in mind that Lake Logipi has a higher salinity compared to Lake Trukana. The flooding lakes of Trukana have seen over 3,500 families living in the villages of Longech, Natirai, Namakat and Namakus being displaced. Lake Trukana has over 50 fish species and home to the Nile crocodiles. Human wildlife conflicts have increased, with crocodiles now encroaching into the human habitat to increase due to the increased water levels. Some of the solutions include 1. Environmental engineering 2. Building of an exit canal to drain off excess water 3. Monitoring the water release outflows from Gibe Dam in Ethiopia which regulates water flow of River Omo 4. Beaconing the flood prone areas and residents moved outside the indicated danger zones. Thank you for listening and please do remember to subscribe to our channel.